this shit. Hey guys, what's going on? Chris here with Shughead Gaming, bringing you the first ever edition of the Crematorium. Here you will find short and to the point reviews on games that were such epic dumpster fires that I literally couldn't get through them to do a complete review. So without further ado, let's take a look at Siren, developed by Hammerhead VR and currently available on PC VR, but released this November 6th on PSVR in North America and November 13th in Europe. Siren is selling for an estimated retail price of $25. Of course, that depends on your region. Okay, so here we go. Delayed by almost a year on PSVR, I think most PSVR gamers considered Siren, which released February of 2017 on the PC VR, dead in the water for our headset. Hammerhead VR went silent on the PSVR version, which is never a good sign. That is until a few weeks ago. It was announced for release out of nowhere. Well, as it turns out, Siren needed to stay silent, and here's why. As always guys, if you like this video and not the game, please hit that like button. And if you want to see more PSVR content from me, you know the deal, please consider subscribing. And for updates, hit that bell icon. Siren coming off as the bastard child and poor man's version of both Alien Isolation and The Persistence. But don't let either of these comparisons give you hope though, as Siren doesn't come close to either of those games, to the degree that I even cringe mentioning it with those other far superior games. Siren comes to PSVR with both episodes that made it to the PC version. Each horrible and broken in their own right, they both share identical set pieces, meaning hallways, textures, and rooms are directly shared between both, giving a really bad sense of been there, done that. Across both games, visuals are blurry, jagged messes, draped in overly dark rooms and hallways with no flashlight in sight. The graphics here are so bad that players will be hard-pressed to even see the horribly animated sirens as they walk into your view. Positional audio is all over the place with siren positioning being actually not bad, but the in-game music weirdly sounding like it's coming from the speakers of the PA system on the ship. Sirens sound creepy, but they lack any sound variety, making them almost instantly dull and forgettable. Gun sounds are mediocre and a muddled mess, sounding like they used proper gun sounds, then recorded them on a cheap tape recorder before putting them back in the game. Voice work isn't horrible, but it sounds like even the voice actor knew how shitty this game was, and he lacks all enthusiasm in his delivery. Your visual feed is coming online. Jesus, what the hell happened here? To top it all off, sound effects drop off without notice or they're absent altogether. Awesome. Episode 1 tries to be the survival horror game in the vein of Alien Isolation. Here, it fails miserably, as the siren literally will show up randomly in a room or a hallway, wailing away and giving away the fact that it has no AI intelligence to speak of and needs to be put down. But you can't, because here you run. You can't really hide, so you just run. And when I say run, I mean walk quickly and awkwardly to attempt to avoid and continue on. Episode 2, more like the persistence, tries to liven things up and turns Siren into an almost run-and-gun horde mode. All this sounds fun on paper, and I hoped it would break up the monotony and boredom found in Episode 1. Instead, the boredom was replaced by sheer frustration as the sirens would come out of seemingly nowhere and awkwardly charge. Here, the horrible controller tracking, unintuitive control system, and absolutely brutal gun aiming failed me on every turn. Even as I collected currency and hit up the gun store, better guns were met with similar results as the sirens eventually waited out my gun clip and killed me while I struggled to reload. To make matters worse, I had no idea what my damage level was, no way of healing, and if I even remotely found myself face to face with a siren, it was game over. Both episodes resulted in me trying over and over again to push through, but ultimately both ending in rage quits and disappointment in every mechanic of the game. A year ago, Siren was actually one of my most anticipated games. Delayed almost a year, I feared the worst but hoped for the best. Siren is an ugly, broken mess of a game on PSVR. It literally has no redeeming qualities and simply just isn't fun, and in fact, was actually really miserable to play, better left as a new form of capital punishment. Siren should be avoided at all costs and, of course, burned to the ground. 
Well guys, thanks for tuning in for the first episode of Crematorium. If you like this video, please hit that like button. And if you want to see more PSVR content from me, please consider subscribing. And for updates, hit that bell icon. I'll catch you guys on my next video.